Hey friends, welcome to this video. Thank you for tuning in. This is gonna be a little plank challenge. We're gonna do a 10 minute plank challenge that's gonna really test your physical ability and even more so your mental ability to kind of see it through. When it comes to a plank, I really think that as much as physical ability matters, your mental ability to simply see it through and get over all those obstacles that your mind is gonna put in place, telling you to get out and this is too uncomfortable. Simply getting over that is really the challenge of holding any plank for a sustained period. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hold the high plank. So basically like a push-up position, your starting position for a push-up for three minutes and then we're gonna move on to our right side, arm straight in a side plank and then we're gonna move on to the left side for another side plank and we're gonna do one minute for each. So that's five minutes and then we're gonna come down onto our forearm. So we're gonna hold a three minute plank here and then one minute side plank on the forearm and then another minute side plank on the other forearm. So it's really gonna get challenging um, once you're on your forearms because you no longer have your hands and your forearm as additional support for holding that plank. So try this, it's definitely more on the advanced side. So if you'd like to test yourself both physically and mentally, then by all means do this with me. And let's just get started immediately. I'm gonna use my watch to get uh, the timer going. I did a little bit of a weight training workout before this, so hopefully that's not gonna impede too much on my ability to see this through. So just for reference, when we sit in a plank or when we, when we hold a plank pose, you're really gonna wanna press into those hands and keep that back, that upper back, sort of concaved towards the sky, that core engaged. The core engaged really in the upper belly, that tailbone tucked, so you don't wanna sag the hips nor keep them too high. The tailbone should be simply tucked. So that's a good plank. Uh, form, that's good plank form, you always want to really keep pressed into the shoulders and the same thing applies once you come down on your forearms. You don't want to sag the shoulders down, you want to keep them nice and engaged. So let's do this. It's going to be 10 minutes. I'm going to set the timer. I will let you know when to transition and let you know one, once we get started. So come into that plank pose, shoulders over the wrist, and then let's start. Three minutes, high plank. Pressing into those fingers, index and thumb, just re relieving some of the pressure on the wrists, on the outer wrists. I'll let you know at intervals where we're at. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. One minute. If your shoulders are starting to burn, that's completely fine and normal. Power through it. Whatever your mind is telling you is not true. You can hold much longer then your mind makes you feel you can hold. Don't slack on form, even when you get tired. Keep that tailbone tucked, the core engaged. Breathe. Two minutes. If 
you're starting to shake, that's okay. Once we get into the side plank, it'll be a little bit easier for a short period of time. It'll be almost like a rest. Exercising that determination, that will to stay in an uncomfortable position. Five more seconds. Bring those feet together, toes to touch. Move on to a side plank on the right hand. Press into that right shoulder. Keep those hips up, engaged. Maybe move them forward a little bit. We hold this nice side plank for just a minute. It's almost like a break. Breathing. Move on to the other side. So roll over onto the left foot, right arm up. I'll do progressively less talking throughout this for obvious reasons. No sacrificing on form. Keep those hips lifted, that core engaged. Pressing into the hand, to the shoulder. Maintaining your balance here. Five more seconds. We're gonna come into a forearm plank down into a forearm plank. Good. Maybe keep those forearms parallel. You can clasp the hands together, that's fine. Make sure to press into those shoulders. This is where it's gonna get tough. Power through it. Focusing on the breath. Quelling those thoughts, telling you this is enough, get out. I'm dripping sweat. One minute gone. We're at six minutes total. Engage that core. Press into the elbows, the forearms. Doing great. Last minute in this form, then we move into a side plank.
I'm shaking like mad. Thirty more seconds. Engage that core. Don't get lazy. Five, four, three, two, one. Side plank, keep on the forearm, come onto the right forearm. Keep those hips lifted, move them forward slightly. One minute here. I know the shoulders are burning. We're almost done. Press into that forearm, into the elbow. Don't let the shoulder sag. Breathe. Lower the left form, come on to the left side. Last minute, good job. If you got this far, press into those fingers to keep that balance. Holding. Focusing on that breath. Ten more seconds. Lower down. Ten minutes. Nice. I hope you're sweating as much as I am. Wow, that was intense. So good job if you made it through that very tough physical and mental challenge. I think more so a mental challenge. Usually your mind tells you you can't do something a lot earlier than your body does. And since the mind really is the orchestrator of things, we all tend to believe that and drop out of things very early. So this is a good practice to simply practice that determination, that will to overcome discomfort. And you know, doing this over and over again kind of will reap benefits in the real life. Um, that's why I love yoga very much because yoga is very similar in terms of holding postures, transitioning, powering through, using the breath to power through very difficult postures and hold them. And that has enormous benefits in real life. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a nice thumbs up. Uh, comment in the comment section below if you made it through this. If you have any similar challenges that you'd like to do, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, that was tough. I'm surprised I made it through that. Thanks so much, have a great day.